Today's uh, usually the cutoff day for when the guys got to be out here, I guess, practicing. Uh, any updates as far as the morning? I keep telling you guys, they're playing. They're all playing. They're all playing. If the doctor tells me otherwise, we'll report it, but they're all playing. I want to ask you about uh, Dorsett. You, uh, been raving about him pretty much since he's, he got here. Yep. Can you talk about, you know, about that and, and how he's played to this point? No, why, why am I raving about him? Because uh, he's smart, tough, he's disciplined, he competes, um, plays with energy, studies his playbook. I mean, I mean, that's all, you know, when you get that on the way in, you have a chance to really be something. And, uh, you know, we need more guys like that, to be honest with you. We need, we need to recruit more like that. We need more on this team. That the house is in order, they're preparing, they're getting better every day, they're competing. And uh, he learned the system really quickly. It's a credit to he, uh, to him, and, uh, and certainly his family and, his, and the program that he came from. How many plays is he getting on offense, uh, more or less? Uh, you know, probably in the 20s right now. And uh, again, that was a real veteran play he made Saturday. You know, it's a scramble. Some guys would shut it down. He did not. He ran over there and, and made a play. And then, you know, if you guys didn't notice, he's the guy running down there on the kickoff. You know, he's down there. Uh, Know, on, the, on the left side of the kickoff where all the action is, and, and he's the first guy down there. So, again, doing a really good job for us. Maybe you just answered my question, but I know, uh, you know we had heard a lot about Alan Hurts last year on special teams and obviously transferred over for him yeah. to offense. Is there a guy like that this year? Is Philip the guy, or is there another guy that you really like notice he's doing well? Philip and Rashawn have done a really good job. Of course, Eduardo has been really good on specials so far. Um, again, I hate just from an impromptu standpoint just throwing it out because I'm going to miss somebody, but but you know, uh, you know, Phillips been doing a really good job. Eduardo's been doing a really good job. You know, Kendall, uh, first game excellent, third game excellent, second game okay. You know, so uh, we're getting there. We have more guys that understand the importance of it. Is, is there a way that is that a way for a young kid to really kind of audition and get get into it? You know, uh, 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 there's going to be a time when our program's like that. But right now, it's everybody's responsibility because we're, we're we're young at so many places right now. Uh, or inexperienced. So, uh, McConnell Regis has he been playing so good? Far? Good, he's been doing good. I, you know, he, I think he probably played his best game. Um, again, I think uh, getting his reps down a little bit from the opener has helped. Uh, you know, with with uh, Forston back and Darius, so um, you know we expect him to continue to, to improve. Is he, Go ahead. Is Kelvin Kane a guy that you plan to use this weekend? I hope so. I hope. I mean, he, he's been getting better. Um, you know, he's competing with Gianni Paul. Gianni's gotten a lot of looks. Uh, you know, Kelvin's going to get his look this weekend. So there's, there's a lot of guys that are that are starting to come on, and we, and we need him to come on. You know, uh, Keon Payne's a guy. You know that today is, you know, making more progress. Maybe we'll see him on specials this week. So we're we're, we're hoping for guys like that to come on. And, and with that, and this is the fourth game, so redshirt, uh, you know, in or out kind of thing. Are there guys that you'd like to get in that ha either haven't played this year, or, or is it safe to say Vernon? You know? Yeah, I'd like to get him in. I think he's really good. I'd like to get him in. Um, I think, you know, again, it's just, uh, it's a long season, you know, it's a, it's a long season. I'll give you an example, like, we're sitting there Saturday and both, both running backs are banged up a little bit and, you know, it might be Darian Hall's time, you know, it might be Eduardo's time. And I don't know if we would have said that seven weeks ago. So, you know, your question's, you know, right on. You know, there's a lot of guys that have to understand, man, this is next man in mentality and it's a long, it's a long season. Al, is there any downside to playing a one double A opponent before facing Virginia Tech, or do you just look at this as a chance to kind of get better? Again, all, we're playing Bethune Cookman. That's it. You know, I, I'm being serious. You know, and, I, and again, I know there's been so many ebbs and flows and uh, oscillations here in the past. In terms, of, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get all that fixed. I'm trying, I want it to be consistent. We play the same way, no matter whether it's home, away, night, day, whoever the opponent is. We're not there yet. But obviously, I think you guys could tell. I feel pretty animate about that. We have to be the same team uh, every week. This team poses a threat. They're going to be aggressive. They will attack you. Okay. If we don't pick up the blitz, they're going to hurt us. Okay. Uh, if we're, our protections aren't sharp, sharp, they're going to block a punt. Okay. And and they're going to be aggressive, like I said. So uh, we, we we better be locked into this team who won 10 games last year coming to our place. The uh, the catch that Chase had is that indicative of? Of what he's capable of and, and maybe what he's been doing in practice. Yeah, no, he's he's getting better. Chase is getting better. Um, again, that whole tight end group. I keep saying it, and I know you guys agree with me. We got to get them more involved. <laughs> I appreciate you keep asking me about the tight ends. But as a former tight end, I like to get them more involved. Again, it hurt. We lost Blake, who was our starter, and we lost Corey Wright right off the bat.
So uh, we're, 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 we're bringing everybody else along, we're pushing them, and uh, we're trying to get them in more and more. Is it, is it just a matter where they haven't been getting open, or, or the court just hasn't been able to find them, or what's the, I guess, what's been the, the reason why they haven't? Uh, you know, some of it is, is just what they're giving us, okay? Uh, but, you know, obviously Clive had a touchdown call back against Ohio State. And there was a couple other, other opportunities we had to get it to them, and, and, and we didn't. It's as simple as that. So it's a it's a function of them running the right route, the right depth, being precise. To Corey, being precise, getting the protection on that you know specific play, and then everybody executed. That's what happens Saturday. You know, we executed, and Chase gave us a chance to win the game. All right, guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks. coach.